Good morning everyone, my name is Christian from Two-Headed Wolf Gaming and welcome back to Crusader Kings 3 as our East Anglia campaign. Now we are still fighting for the British Isles. This current file keeps showing me the notification that it's a different version from the one that has been updated now with the latest patch. So I do see a few bugs here and there. Now I am really hoping we're not gonna get, uh, you know, this campaign of ours ruined by this particular patch. Like I'm really hoping it's going to be okay for us. But just in case it's not going to be, I guess I'll put a cut when it doesn't work anymore. For now let's just have some fun, let's explore a little bit more what it means to be a king of Sweethelm. So let's, without further ado, let's start and continue this war of ours here with Wessex. Uh, she has a claim, she's a guest and has a claim on this particular county, which is very far from us. Hunt, hunted, crack, as the powerful boar that my wife and I was rowing close to disappears into the plains, we turn towards the source of the sound. Liber, my knight, is standing behind us with his knife drawn, pointed towards Sear. Uh, fear not, my wife. We have a prowess challenge against him. 50% that I wound Liber and fend him off. We gain some prestige. He gains wounded. She gains opinion of us. Either he wounds me, 37%, or I fail to defend and I am killed. Our queen is killed, and well, that's that. Good luck, CR. <laughs> oh, CR has actually better. She has actually better traits than us at fighting. Or we can. And what happens here? There is a chance that we are killed, a smaller chance. Almost. Um, yeah, yeah, see, good luck, Seer. Libra exposed to attempted murder secrets, he gains the trait wounded. We will imprison him, he's a known criminal. Uh, we will definitely imprison. He has been apprehended and he's a, he awaits his fate now. What was he? He was a Slovenian insular. Let's see, can we execute him? Yes, we can. He has two children here and... So he was part of the other court. We're just gonna make sure they will fear us. The hunt is drawing to an end, we mount our horses and leave the plains behind as the servants prefer the boar and other game for the journey back. We gain some prestige there. Let's see, where are we at with the war? So we finished that particular siege there. I am going to go ahead and engage these armies. And then work my way through to taking over a few other territories. Let's see, with her. Can I ask her to demand surrender in Vassal War? Okay, who is she fighting here? Hmm, I am not sure. Let's check it out. Oh, they're fighting against rebels, so I guess it's fine. Let's bring these armies in. They have a slightly higher quality than us. But I don't think it will matter too much. Our knight was wounded by the earl. Enemy has been captured. He has been captured. Okay. Let's see. What other territory, other territories you can take from him? Which one would be better to loot? They have no loot here. There's little loot there. There is a bit of loot here. So I guess we'll bring our armies here. On this side. 
Delicate affairs. Reeve Elfric has been of real help in the past few days, aiding me in my efforts to strengthen the realm's ties with our neighbors. He has just offered himself again to help me gain High Chieftain Iron Tech Frost. Okay, where where are you? Situation. He is the High Chieftain of Northumbria here. Okay. It's so hard to find someone one can truly rely on. Either Reeve Alfred becomes a friend and he gains some opinion of, of us, or we I can think I can handle High Chieftain Imlech. And we gain some diplomacy, or we can lose some stress from being diligent. It's not worth the effort. Yeah, let's lose some stress there. He is just a prisoner here. We were to ransom him. Oh, he would cost quite a bit of money. So let's besiege this area. They just seem to be slightly slower. Maybe one of the first thing I will do on this one is build some onagers. Yeah, let's just do that. As, as we've seen, having a bunch of onagers can really speed up the the amount of siege, uh, the siege time necessary to take over the territory. Let's see, available perk, fabricate claim on county speed or sway scheme or monthly prestige per dread. Let's go for Diplomat, let's go with this Accomplished, uh, whatever that was, we can ransom him, not for all the money. Let's unite these armies, we have siege weapons here, they are besieging that territory so we're gonna fight him in a second. We're making uh, 1.4 progress a day and here we're making 1.8 but the, the fort is smaller. Yep, let's go there. Okay, now I want to bring not this commander but the other one here to the south, get less penalties from it all and then I want to go and start besieging this area. I guess we've managed to get the maximum score necessary. Let's enforce the demands, getting some fame, sharing, prestige, really nice. We've taken over that territory, like our troops are still out, but we have quite a bit of money. So what I will do now is combine these troops. Can I not help with this battle? Let's see. Before we go forward to to helping our ally. Groom to rule, he gained or she gained one stewardship there. Uh, what else should we be doing now? I think it's maybe time to convert them. I definitely want to do that and I will start here. Another conversion of fate is happening somewhere, let's check it out. Is it here? Uh, no. If I double click him on this, no, he's at home they say. So yeah, let's convert this faith. For you, you're still integrating the title. It takes a whole lot of work to integrate this title. Maybe it's better to keep improving our vassal's opinion there. How much per month are we getting at this level? Ooh. Well, there we have it. King Svithelm of East Anglia has left this world at 16 years of age. He died of unknown causes. A charming man 
became famous for his elaborate feasts and grandiose balls. King Wulfnot ascends to the throne merely, merely six years old, so he will need to rely on the council during his first years of rule. We probably got assassinated in that. Or maybe we've died of old age because we were 60 there. Let's see, we gain a bunch of titles, we are over the title limit. Continue as King Wolfnoth. So we'll pause it right now to check out a few things. Let's see, what do we want you to learn? You are six. A steward would be good. Let's pause, uh, I said. Let's see, if we go for stewardship, that would be fine. Rowdy children are better at intrigue. Okay. Empress here. Oh, she became an empress. Okay. This education could work as well, but rowdy children often do well in martial. We can have better or intrigue. Okay, let's stay with intrigue. Faction created against you. Uh, the Earldom of Eilag has given rise to the Norse Sumenosco populists. Okay, we've joined the war there. New Archbishop does not endorse you. He is the 20... Okay, so he is our bishop. He just doesn't like me right now. Let's try to get some people in. A good steward would be our countess here. Let's give her some power. Let's have her improve. Instead of integrating the title, improved our foreign our affairs, our domestic affairs. Uh, as or no, not her. We want her here as reassign. And then I want her to, to promote culture. Yeah, continue promoting culture here. Chancellor, someone who's really good at diplomacy. Our vassal, this guy, or this guy, who is a powerful vassal from the Earldom of Sussex, Sussex. No, let's bring this guy in. Go for domestic affairs. Our spy master, someone who's really good at intrigue, is this vassal or this powerful vassal here. Or we can bring in our cousin, but his intrigue is not that high. And he's one-legged and a few other things. Uh, yeah, this guy probably better. And for the marshal, the marshal, we have a vassal here who's really strong. Let's put him in position of power. Let's see, increase county control. The county of Eilech apparently is in our hands now, even though we didn't have to work for it. Nominate a successor for the moment, if anything happens. We can ask her to be our successor. Sure, let's cast a vote there. Above the main limit, yes, let's give some territories to someone else. Maybe to even, even to some of our vassals. You, you are a great person, I believe. But let's see, where can I give, what title can I give to you? If we take a look at our territories, let's actually put our bishop. I think he's the most learned person in the land, yep. So we're gonna ask him to be our physician. Uh, I am going to send him a gift. Oh, it's very expensive to send him a gift. I would like to take a look at our domains we said. Let's see, realms. What produces us the least money is the Duchy of York. 
but it does give us a bunch of soldiers. The Earldom of North Reading. Okay, let's give this away. Grand titles, the Earldom of North Reading. Let's see, even Lindsay. Lindsay does does Lindsay produce us Lindsay produces us a whole lot of troops there. So also this earldom of Hertrutford was just taken by us. Maybe we can give away Northamshire. No, this is not under our control anymore. Uh, what else other territories do we control? Let's see. This territory right here, or and that. And this Earldom of North Reading. So we can give Lindisfarne actually. 400, 200, 100. Oh, we can give this one away. Oxfordshire could be producing us a lot more. But maybe we can give it to someone else and improve the land. I think you have you don't have a lot of stewardship. Neither of you has a, have a lot of stewardship. So I guess I'll grant him these titles here. And then I will go here to this guy and grant you a title. Right. Worcestershire or Gloucestershire? Let's see. Which one was it? Worcestershire, Oxfordshire. Or Gloucestershire. And this one. Okay. So let's grant our spy master this title here. That is okay for now. Uh, decision available to invite knights. I don't think I want to do that. Above the main limit, we're still at 6 out of 5. We have what? Above the main limit, we have this city, I think. Grant to a low noble. Now we're okay. Now we're okay. So I gave the city away to one of our nobles to manage it and created a new noble. Uh, nominated successor. Our sister is not available anymore. Uh, for the moment, I guess we'll give it to our oldest sister. Or something. Pending crusade participation. Yeah, we can't do anything there. She can marry. Our mother can marry, actually. I don't know if you want to do that. Active, election, powerful. You can transfer, you can create a duchy. Too many held duchies. I don't think that's the case anymore. We are not endorsed by him, but hopefully we will. You should grant Saint Alban to someone. What is... Oh, another place. Yeah, let's give it to another new noble. She will be our new heir if we die. Primary heir of the wrong dynasty. Okay. Oof. Well, we spent 20 minutes mostly doing this or 15 minutes. Let's check it. But I guess this is what we do now, right? Let's also look for a marriage for our son there. Hey, King of Francia. Do you have a daughter? She is our niece here. Yeah. Let's see, what other... There are no more da daughters in, in that particular alliance. The Byzantine Empire went back to being super strong. Let's see, da daughter of Basilius, can we marry her? Any of them? Nope. 
So at this point, I'm not sure what we should be doing. Uh, meaning, who should we be marrying? Is any of you... She is our cousin? I don't know if we can actually marry any of you to us. Okay, we are related, so mm, that doesn't work. Maybe in the siblings area we can arrange a marriage there. Nope. Uh, Northumbria with the high chieftain or with these chieftains or the Powys. Is she our cousin? No, she's a courtier there. Uh, yeah, there is a risk. I guess we are somewhere close to, to being relatives. If I just decide to go with a, I don't know, basic marriage, what would be the case? Let's find a spouse. And then I would say uh, go for not opinion, not stewardship, not learning. Uh, where is it? filters? Yes, and we want Catholicism, fertile traits, inheritable. Let's see, she's robust, she's intelligent, she's fecund. Let's see, she is 17 and intelligent. They would accept. We would get 100 prestige, she would get 400 prestige. And she would be ah, on this side. Let's send a proposal. It would be wonderful to have a few intelligent kids there. She is ill, unfortunately. Hopefully our... Physician can do something about it. Uh, primary heir is said to be inherited by someone outside of your dynasty. This means that you stand to lose quite a bit of land once you die. You may still be able to get members of your dynasty to inherit by changing the current line of succession, changes in the succession laws or even murder. So this guy is... One seat on the council and has a few other things. He's our vassal and knight there. He has quite a bit of power from what I see. And I guess I cannot imprison him there. Nominate a successor. Okay, let, let's nominate her. Let's stay there. Our wife can marry, our wife, our mother can marry. Okay, let's reset to defaults here. Let's create an alliance with someone who could also be a good ally. Potential ally there is here. Yeah, I'm not sure who I should be bringing, maybe someone from there. She would get, she would lose some prestige. Not a whole lot of added value there, but possible. This guy has some claims on the island. So yeah, the, it, it feels like we're doing just matchmaking in this episode. We shall see what we'll do. New churches established, temple construction time costs and everything else go down. Uh, I wanted to see if I can't actually join her in this war. 
Demand surrender? No. Can I join you? Offer to join war? Peasant uprising? Nice. So at this point I want her to go I want our army to go this way. We've got a bunch of troops on hand ready to engage with their peasant rebels we will not give them a chance cousin taken prisoner there good that war we've won let's take our troops over on this side and prepare them to bring them here. And maybe even engage the troops over on this side of the sea. Okay, so be it. Locals pacified, war contribution is zero. Well, they should have given us a bit more, I say. Okay, and we won the war there, but we didn't do a whole lot. So let's disband the armies for, for the moment. We have four out of five holdings. I guess we gave away too many of them. What else could we do? We can continue with that. We can't really do too much with these people. They really do not like us. So let's... Let's reinforce uh, Leicestershire, maybe. These, these lands are... have such uh, penalties against us proposed alliance i will accept yes and welcome the tension ectum has been pestering me for a very long time he has everyone believing he is a saint but he mocks me relentlessly for every tiny mistake i make i cannot get him to stop no matter what so he's our buoy apparently uh let's ask who should we ask should we ask her to teach us Do we, we, I don't think we have anybody teaching us. So we could ask maybe, I think him, right? Is our sheriff? Or maybe him, because he is deceitful. Um... Maybe I can find them like this, based on their skills. Yeah, let's have her educate us. In the way of web weaving. Our counselor, our toughest marshal died unfortunately. Let's see who we can bring in next. The knight? No. Let's bring this vassal of ours. And we're gonna keep working on our land. Apparently we've taken this side. So now we're just managing from the top. Waiting for our allies to, to take some of these lands. Uh, let's see. When I look at my council, does it say too many duchies? Too many duchies, yes. So we can give away Huis, East Anglia... Or Mercia. Mercia has a lot of title. Wis provides us with two, two to learning, if I'm not mistaken, right? It doesn't say right now. Let's see. Where is Stonehenge? Okay, Stonehenge is here, but I don't think it's gonna be ours. So maybe I 
I like this Chancellor a lot. If we grant him the title of Fuis, the petty kingdom of Fuis, I think he'd be pretty good at it, right? Not so much on stewardship, definitely on diplomacy. So yeah, let's give him that title. Uh oh, now we have an empty council position and that is from... For some reason from our spy master. Uh, let's reassign or assign. This guy. Disrupt schemes. With Anglo-Saxon settlements and the installation of the new administration, the people of Arsenefeld have fully embraced Anglo-Saxon traditions. Okay. That is great. Let's promote more of our culture uh, here. Dangerous factions. Let's see Liberty faction with these people. Vassals who cannot join. She cannot join, but these people want. And they will send an ultimatum soon. If we give her a hundred gold, she will gain seven opinion of us, which is not a lot. We give him some gold. That's seven opinion. And yeah, that's not gonna do much. I don't think we'll be able to, to avoid a war there. But we will see. Uh, nominate successor. Yeah, let's nominate her. To my liege, it's time to recognize the ancient and in an, an inalienable. Uh, Alienable, in inalienable, inalienable rights of your vessels. There you have it. Accept the demands of the Liberty Faction or face our swords on the battlefield. How many troops can you bring? You can bring 2,000 troops. I hope neither of us is this guy, right? So you can bring 2,000 troops there. There's then... We take a look at the factions. Can we send some of these guys home? Nope, demand conversion, gain a weak hook. No, they don't want it. For you, they don't have the money. Renounce claims, gain a weak hook. No, they don't want it. Uh, what I wanted to check is back here. So he has 2000 troops, he has 2000 troops and she has 1500 troops. And we have, at this point, four thousand, four thousand against six thousand. Let's see. Can we ask for an alliance before anything else? Uh, they will not uh, negotiate. Okay. Can I ask her? No. Oof, can we fight this war? We can lose some dread, we don't have any. Go to limited crown authority, which is one step lower if I'm not mistaken. Yes. And what else? We spent some prestige. Okay. I guess I have no choice. At this point, I, we can't really do much in, in this war. We can imprison her because she's an adulterer. Sure, let's do that. Our mother can be married. Let's look for some potential good allies, maybe afterwards, and who? Also our sister. We've imprisoned her. Let's see. How can we release you? Well, you don't give us a whole lot of things. Ransom? For a favor? Sure, let's do that. But I guess that's all the time we have for today. What I'm going to do in, in, in this break is that I'm going to look for an alliance, a marriage for our sister and our mother, try to get in an alliance 
so we can prevent any kind of future wars as we grow up and we try to become stronger. Don't worry, we will make sure that uh, these people will pay. For the moment, I thank you very much for watching and I look forward to seeing you all in the next episode. Have a wonderful day everyone!